Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know you've seen the thumbnail and I know you read the title. Yep, we are going to be making the Big Mac sauce, which is perfect for this time of the year with all the barbecues that are going on, especially for this weekend. You got 4th of July coming up and I know everyone's going to be barbecuing. So this is something different. You can put on your burgers instead of, you know, your typical mustard and ketchup and uh, lettuce and tomato. This will bring some flavor to your burgers. So let's get started. Okay, here I have one cup of mayo, four teaspoons of yellow mustard, and right beside it, four tablespoons of ketchup. Here I have dill pickled relish, and here I also drain most of the liquid off because I don't want the sauce to become too runny. So that's four tablespoons of that, two teaspoons of vinegar, and here is a spice blend for this uh, condiment, which consists of two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And here I have a bunch of minced onions, we're going to be using only four tablespoons of this, so let's get to mixing. First, I'm going to add this. Let's get all of this out. All right. Let's get all of it. Let's not waste anything. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the mustard and ketchup. The order really doesn't matter because, you know, it's all going to be mixed up. It would matter if we were going to be cooking this sauce down, but of course we are. We are not. Okay. Let's get that dill pickle relish. And again, um, if you're going to use the dill pickle relish, well, if you, you know, have that at home, that's the best. If you're using, uh, the sweet relish, you won't have to add sugar, but using the dill pickle relish, you're going to have to add uh, sugar to this dish. And let's do our spice blend. Dump those all in. All right. Add that vinegar. And the four tablespoons of finely minced onions. That's two, three. This stuff smells so amazing. It's like I can smell the Big Mac sauce already after it's made four. And you know, guys, feel free to use as much onions that you like, you know, but I'm going to stick to the recipe right now. Okay, and now we'll just mix it up. Scrape everything off of the sides and make sure you get that bottom. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel so that you can get more recipes and see the other, you know, upcoming dishes that I'll be preparing for you guys. All right, guys, and there you have it your max sauce. This will definitely be a game changer at your barbecues. So I highly suggest that you use this. Who doesn't love a good Big Mac sauce on a perfectly cooked burger? Look at that. All right.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll be back with another one.